That is no excuse. You was old enough to lure me up to Jenny's Hill, and two months older, when you kept me waiting here for the sound of your boots on the road, and me still here when Mr. Daw was ready to blow out the lamp. I walked down to your house the next morning. Oh, he left, your mother said. Sure, didn't he tell you? Took the train down to Port of Ass this morning. You must have just missed him. I walked up the hill that morning, and with every step, I could feel your mother's eyes on my back. And I went straight up to Mrs. Daw, and I said, oh, Mrs. Daw, I want to go to Toronto. There's something that I got to do there. What, she said. I, I, I can't tell you, but it's important. No, she said, it is out of the question. It wouldn't have taken me too long to find you. And when I did, I would have put on my prettiest dress. And then when you stuck your head out, I would have smashed your face so hard it would have knocked you into the next room. But at least I would have had the satisfaction of saying goodbye.